in today's class we'll be we'll be doing a um, roof beam design we've actually um loaded this structure we've done all the load combinations which is a uh, right here you can see self weight um everything done and we use the template which i i took my time to create this template calculates all the necessary primary loads which i applied on that structure and the second one is for the load combination or the load combination i used we have a serviceability limit state combination we have equilibrium load combination ultimate geotechnical and the ultimate structural load combination so these are according to code as per euro code so uh, the link to get this uh, template is in the description so just it's for now is a, is at a giveaway price is a, a token and definitely i will actually i would i will increase the price later on so the earlier you get this template the better for you if you actually need it if you if you know you are designing a building concrete building you actually need this template if you can if you check you see the code reference everything is to as as per code en code so the template is good this is what i i use to do my design every engineer what makes you a a a, a, a good engineer is when you have they are not the number of of templates you have in your archive because it aids your speed yeah so this is the structure is a, a massive one is a life project i am doing for somebody so i'm um, the as usual they have to rerun the analysis to provide the software the the reaction forces and loads to work with so as as usual you see zero error zero warning that's good so we click on uh, advanced concrete design as rcdc and wait for it to come up so that we can do our our beam design so here you write the name of the project right uh, this design code you select I'm using EN European code so from here you can choose the version then from this side you choose uh, what you are designing you have pie cap footing column and wall beam slab so it is a uh, beam I want to design then it, for this one is a is roof beam I want to design so my roof beam is at this level four nine meters so I click on create project Yes, does that. This is my, my roof beam. Okay. And uh, this is the names of the beam. This one is G1. This is G1. You have B, B2, span by span. Span by span, and uh, the dimension are there. 
see the length 2775 is the thickness 225 and this is the depth 300 so my root beam is 300 mm depth that's that okay so i'll go to settings general, uh, general and uh, enforcement okay mm -hmm. concrete grade um, use 25 30 steel grade use uh, 410 concrete cover use 30 as more aggregate size here 25 is okay main steel bar main steel for my beam mm, we use m um, 16 mm okay minimum sorry so minimum should be 12 then maximum 16 share steel bar the same thing mm. This one the same thing. Then uh, stirrup spacing, minimum spacing for stirrup. We use 200. Maximum 250. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. I'll say okay. Go back to settings. This one is rebar containment, okay, and detailing and drawing settings. I would only change the rebar mark manager instead of T. I will use H. Let's type H here. That's for main reinforcement for shear. To change it to H and for the S S F R change it to H okay. say okay. okay okay go back to settings again um, to basic loads so these are the load the my primary loads in my analysis so automatically the start the house dc will import it here so what i need to do is to specify which is which one is dead and which one is live so self weight is dead load and parapet load is dead beam load is dead column load is dead this one is life load and then wind load wind in x is wind in x wind in x wind in z wind in z then i will highlight all and push them to my right side that's good then i'll click on ok so the load combination now either you do it manually or you import from analysis uh, add from template if you have a template this is add from analysis so i've already done the load commission in my analysis i would simply add from there so when i click on that automatically all the load combination in my analysis will come up here so i will, I will simply click ok that's that then for me to I would like to rename my beam. I would like to call it beams, not B2, B1B. Just call it beams. So I'll click on modify. I'll click on edit beam description. Then here I'll write beam. Yeah, I'll click on set. That's good. Then OK. Check where you see it has now been beams. Yeah, that's good. So I'm done with my settings. What I will do now is uh, click on this button here, auto design. 
or you come here and click auto design any of them works if you are yet to subscribe to my channel i will ask you to just take a second and click the subscription subscription button it is free of charge nobody's charging you for subscribing just click that button subscribe share my content with your friends and yeah, give me a positive comment yeah thank you as you do that then this is uh, our design so everything is okay the green color here by my left side is an indication that all the beams passed no issues so 12h 2h12 is just okay then the links have a spacing of 225 is very good some have a spacing of 200 it's very okay so no um no 16 mm here found that's very good so let's uh, check for other outputs so you have text schedule and can just open that one if you really need it your this one is for text schedule yeah okay then uh, we have elevation and sections this one is all the most important that uh, actually the beam detailing you can select a particular beam you want to see each join or you click on all to show all the joints you click ok Okay, it has come up. This is the beam detailing, which you can take your AutoCAD and pin it up. Pin up. And yeah, I'm going to. I have I have a, a, a drawing I've developed in AutoCAD, which can be used as a template. So when you get that drawing, you can match it up with this one, and you don't have much stress. And the layers in that drawing has been created at, as per standard, a, 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 a highly recognized standard. So when I'm done with that drawing, I'm going to make it available for you for your use. Yeah, see the section here. So all you just need is take this drawing to that environment, and and, and that's the work is done for you. No much stress. Yeah, so something it can be it can is is actually a big work to start cleaning clean this thing up you know making this text to you know, match your scale to the the line weight and rest of them creating a layer for all these things so when you have a template that has all the um appropriate layers for the beam um elements you easily get work done so i'm going to make that template ready and available for you or beams yeah we're going to do that this is the section yeah so you can check other ones the design summary this one is for the reporting in, in your report compilation you can get some extracts from here you see the beam beam one analysis reference member at nine meter breadth uh, depth uh, at 25 by 300 the material property 2530 yes 14 good cover is 30 the design code is that beam type regular beam that's see, everything is okay this is all the summary of the of the report so we can as well get the detailed report that design calculation it gives you detailed report where you can choose for a particular beam or you want to you can select all the beams yeah See all the things I put project name. So if 
if when you are doing a real project you should put the correct project name so that as you are getting your report you you have the name already on it so like this project name i said i i i i put concrete building and that is what is showing here client name is the abc as i put there engineer's name is engineer xyz as i put there so you, you in your own case you can put the right thing there so that when you get your output you see everything already on the report so this is a detailed report for, for that particular beam I, I selected so that's that on the reporting you can as well get uh, if if a member failed you can check why the member what is, is, is the reason for the failure but here we don't have any anything like that you can as well generate bill of quantity you know what this class does not what uh, we are showing you can do that in uh, another class so this this is uh, actually what we can also generate uh, bbs as for bar bending you can generate bbs you know, in the form of autocad or excel yes that one is you can select a spreadsheet or this one so we'll end here for today next class we'll do the main beam design this one is the roof beam we are going to do the main beam design column design the foundation design i will also do a uh, foundation i will do the normal part foundation design and i'll also do a, a raft foundation so just to show you how to also do raft foundation just stay tuned um, i have a lot to to share with you Stay tuned, subscribe, share my content with your friends and, we'll, and your colleagues in the office. Thank you very much. See you next time.